Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Thanks for joining us. I'm happy to announce the initial availability of the VMware VRealize AI Cloud Service. My name is David Pham. I am a senior PMM on the VRealize Operations Cloud Management Team. And I'm gonna be joined with Julie Roman, senior TMM also on the VRealize Operations Cloud Management Team. And for this video, I'm gonna go over the true vision of the self-driving data center what the VMware VRealize AI Cloud Service does, and Julie's gonna help close things up by showing you a demo and a sneak preview of this brand new user interface for VRealize AI Cloud, which runs on top of VRealize Operations Cloud. So the self-driving data center concept, if you look at this bottom layer, this represents your infrastructure layer where you're gonna run your applications and workloads, whether they're gonna be on-premises on Dell EMC virtual systems, VMware vSphere, or you might have a hybrid cloud approach with VMware supported public clouds, such as VMware Cloud and AWS, or you might go all the way up to the stack to native public clouds or multi-clouds with AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Platform, or IBM Cloud. And the idea is that you're gonna run, deploy, and manage your VMware software-defined data center on top of all these different platforms, a hybrid cloud to multi-cloud um, with compute using vSphere, vCenter and ESX, uh, storage with vSAN, or networking with NSXV, NSXT, and the SD-WAN optimization. So VMware vRealize AI Cloud, so it's a self-learning engine that uses AI and ML to do self-healing, self-initiation, self-securing, self-explaining, self-escalating, but for the first instantiation and the initial availability, we're gonna be rolling out with a self-tuning and optimization engine for your storage and vSAN clusters using vRealize Operations Cloud. So vRealize AI Cloud uses machine learning techniques to intelligently and continuously optimize your infrastructure options. And I mentioned on the previous slide, it's gonna be optimizing your vSAN clusters for better performance uh, um, for your application workloads. And how it does is it does continuous learning about your operating environment and adapts to all the changing dynamics and application requirements that runs on top of your vSAN clusters. And it ensures the optimization per the stated KPIs when you enable it. So it could be improve read and write throughput or reduce network latency on your VMware software defined data center. So it is enabled with near real time uh, data and historical observability. So it understands and learns your operating environment. So if you look at this, how does it all work together? So if we have um, on premises, we have a cloud data uh, proxy, which collects data and metrics from your vSAN, uh, your vSphere, and it sends it up to the SAS data lake where it collects and stores your target data. And it does rapid sampling of your vSAN and vSphere utilization and looks at how much resources you have available. And it sets actions using reinforcement learning techniques. So it understands all the different algorithms and different uh, combinations of the tunables to understand and make these actions so where it will improve your application and vSAN performance. And it makes changes to your vSAN and vSphere tunables. And it does this continuously in a closed loop. So as you see, VRealize AI Cloud, it really analyzes how your performance is running and determine what action to take to improve your application performance and vSAN clusters. So there's guardrails in place that understands if it can't improve a particular condition or application or your vSAN clusters, it won't do anything at all. So as I mentioned, using reinforcement learning, it looks for the largest reward mechanism. And that could be based on the best read and write throughput or the lowest uh, network latency of your infrastructure. So we have, as you see here, we have a full uh, cloud management product suite here uh, running on premises and SaaS, but we're gonna be focusing and looking at VRealize Operations Cloud here. And this is where you will access the VRealize AI Cloud. So one of the requirements is that when you have the VMware VRealize Cloud Universal, it comes out of the box with VRealize Operations Cloud. Once you enable the VRealize AI Cloud, you can set up and enable um, the service and it automatically starts collecting the data and optimizes your vSAN infrastructure. And to get more detail on this, I'm gonna pass it off to Julie and we're gonna look at the live demo and sneak peek of this brand new and awesome user interface. All right, back to you, Julie.
Welcome to the vRealize AI overview demo. vRealize AI leverages reinforcement learning to dynamically self-tune your virtual infrastructure. It enables continuous optimization of your configured KPIs while factoring in the dynamic nature of traditional and modern applications. Let's get started. I'm going to dive into vRealize AI from the vRealize Operations Cloud homepage. This brings us to the environment overview. There are 16 out of 36 clusters being optimized with an average improvement of 19%. The colored inner ring shows the entire environment that is being optimized, where it's learning, where there's low benefit, or where a cluster can benefit from optimization, but vRealize AI hasn't been enabled. Let's take a look at the teal color, which represents the portion of the environment that has been optimized. This shows that there is an 18% improvement in performance where vRealize AI has been enabled. If we click on the gray part of the CMBU East Data Center, we will see information for just that data center. In this data center, there is an overall improvement of 32% for clusters with optimization enabled. Each dot in the data center represents a cluster. The optimized clusters are represented by the teal dots. If we click on this, we can find out more information about the cluster. There is an 18% improvement in performance for this cluster. Let's dive into the details. I can see how all the hosts in Cluster 7 are performing with vRealize AI enabled. I want to learn more about the tuning vRealize AI is doing in my environment, and I can click on any of the bubbles to get this information. I'm going to launch in to get more details about Cluster 7. From this view, I can hover over the time range to get details on what actions were performed. There were six updates made during this time frame. If I select the specific time range, I can see all the changes made to cache size for the hosts in the cluster. I can find out specific information by selecting a specific host for a given time period by clicking on the green dot. The cache size was decreased from 100 to 4 because vRealize AI predicted it would improve write latency by 25%. I can review the specific read-write statistics. If I select a specific host, I can see all the detail for the cache size adjustments along with the performance information. Let's take a look at another cluster without vRealize AI enabled. The white area of the ring represents all the clusters in the environment that can benefit from vRealize AI. There is a potential improvement of 43% on all of the hosts without optimization enabled. There are some clusters in the CMBU West Data Center that could benefit from optimization. I need to enable vRealize AI on cluster three to realize the performance benefits. I'm going to set the optimization approach to aggressive. Once enabled on the cluster, it will show up as gold. vRealize AI is learning more about the environment. Let's review the storage policy-based management recommendations. This provides information on updates that can be made to gain greater performance. For example, I can disable dedupe, or I can change my RAID configuration. And this concludes our demo. Add vRealize AI to your data center management plans and get the most out of your vSAN investment.